Well, she won the third series of MasterChef New Zealand back in 2012, and her recipes are so popular. She has over 300,000 Facebook followers. She's just released her fourth cookbook in four years, and is bound to be another bestseller. Great to have you here, Chelsea Winter. Yes, yay! Um, what a what a social media presence! Of the over 300,000 followers. I know that they send you pictures of what they make. What do you do with them? Do you answer all of them? Like, how do you deal with that? Absolutely, yeah, I do. I, I make time in every day to go through and, and look at all these amazing photos. I kind of feel like if someone's going to take the time to take a photo of this amazing meal, send it through to me and say, thanks for the recipe, the least I can do is just reply and say, God, you're a legend, that looks really delicious, kind of thing. 300,000 followers, though, what is your secret? I need some of them. <laughs> can you give me your tips? <laughs> well, I don't know. I honestly didn't set out to to do that, it just kind of organically happened, which um, is really cool. And what if she's cool? Yeah, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> beautiful, cool, you know. I'm working on it. Um, I just surround myself with beautiful, cool women. So maybe that'll help get my followers up. Um, but what have you learned over that? Because you're up to cookbook number four. Obviously, things have changed. You know, from I guess dealing with all these people on Facebook, has the approach to a cookbook changed? Well, I think I'm really lucky in a lot of ways because um, you know people send me photos and they send me feedback and they also send me messages asking for recipes. So I get all this amazing feedback on what I'm doing and I know what people like, I can see what they're making. Um, so when I put together a new book, I think, okay, what was really successful last time? What did people really love? I'm going to put more of that in the next book because nice. I want to make, I want to give people what they want, essentially. So is that what scrumptious your new book is like? What, what's it got in there? Well. I so said there's a massive big section on dinners, dinner inspiration, because I think that's probably the one area where people sort of, you know, need a need a little bit of a bit of pep. Um, really easy dinners, using everyday ingredients that you get at the supermarket, okay? Because you can make delicious food with everyday ingredients. I believe that. So there is not one ingredient in that book that you can't go down to the local and, and find. Um, the recipes have to work because, you know, it's nothing worse than having a fail. So they're easy <laughs> to understand. And the recipes, you know, I try and make it so they really do like come out looking like the photo. And the food has to be delicious. So there's a big savoury section. And then, of course, there's a the baking and treats section because everyone, you know, loves a good bit of home baking. Mm. And there's a Christmas section in this one. Oh, nice. Ooh. Okay, well, I'll tell you what. Um, we're going to obviously see the finished product from the Mastercraft Kitchen very soon, but I want to talk more about what life would be had you not done MasterChef <laughs> back in 2012. So we'll come back to you very soon. Now, we're back on the cafe with the very busy Chelsea Winter, but um, one thing I do want to ask you, if you weren't doing this, what would you have done? Wow, that's a good question, actually. I'd probably still be in the corporate world. Well, maybe. Um, it's been four years. I mean, who knows? But that's what I was doing, of mm. course. So MasterChef must have been a really big turning point for you. Oh, huge. Oh, it changed my entire life. Right. Like, and I... You know, it was. I kind of viewed it as a as a platform, a real opportunity that needed to be grasped. And, and you know, if I really wanted to make something of it, I couldn't just let it. You know, because it's not like you finish the show and suddenly here you go, donk, here's a career in food. You, I had I have to work pretty damn hard to, you know, to make something of it. Is it true that you didn't go to the first interview the year before? Yeah, I chickened out on season <laughs> two. I got the call up and I was like, oh, I just don't think I'm good enough. <laughs> so I didn't what? didn't go. And it was actually my husband Mike who the next year said, you just have to go to that audition. What have you got to lose? You were three, I read, uh, uh, an article that your mum was talking about. She said you were three, is this true, when you took an interest in cooking? Apparently, yeah. She came in and found me on the kitchen bench, like, uh, with this pot of cold water, I believe, and just, like, sort of roughly breaking up carrots and things and putting them in there. And she came in and had a heart attack because she thought I was cooking on the stove. <laughs> what are you doing, Charles? And apparently I looked up and all angelically went, cooking, mummy. Oh. <laughs> and with blonde hair and blue eyes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. probably a bowl cut. <laughs> <laughs> Have you had any cooking disasters? Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah. Um, you know, it's all part of, of part of the cooking thing is having a disaster, the odd one. But I remember when I was quite young, I think I must have been a teenager, I was like, why are people like 
stuffing around with boiling eggs and you know scrambling them. I'm just going to put this egg in the microwave and see what happens. <laughs> Whole and boom. <laughs> Don't do that at home. <laughs> you, know, you know, my sister for a date cooked corned beef. That's not a very good meal to cook for a date, is it? Depends <laughs> who you're dating. <laughs> um, I actually quite like corned beef. Yeah, I'll go on a date back. if someone was cooking me corned beef. And that's it. Food is changing all the time. Chelsea has brilliantly captured that in her latest book called Scrumptious. It's book number four. It's available now. And you're quickly um, you're going on a book tour next week too, aren't you? Yes, kicks off next week. And tickets are selling pretty quick, but you can still get some on the Paper Plus website. And um, we can get selfies. Nice work. OK, cool. thank you so much, Chelsea. We'll head back to Mark very soon as we're going to be plating up the bellissimo baked chicken. Bellissimo. Baked chicken. <laughs> yeah, baked chicken. <laughs> it's also got the bean, hazelnut and feta dish. That is coming up just after the break.